guys and welcome back to Newsleak. Um, on today's news, I want to talk about an issue that is controversial or an issue that has caused a lot of uproar online. And this is the fact that a few days ago, Edgar Barre or the team master himself ran a story about uh, money laundering schemes that have been happening in Kenya, uh, you know, commonly known as wash wash. And this caused a lot of debate online and, you know, people, you know, applauding him for the courage of bringing the same to light. And as we all know, it has led to a lot of problems. His um, Instagram account was deactivated. And today he came out and said that his brother was actually kidnapped and tortured, which is really sad. So if you've been following the story, uh, please listen to the video below and give your comment. Hi guys. Um, today, this is one of the hardest videos I've ever had to uh, do um i actually wanted to it for it to be an instagram live but uh, uh instagram is blocking my bnn account from going live so i have to do this video and um i'd like to ask you to pray for my family and uh so saturday night i was informed that um they kidnapped my brother they kidnapped him tortured him and uh, they were more or less just trying to get information about my whereabouts and um, that's one of the scariest things of I'm so sad that he had to go through that and that some people in this country would go so low that now they're just going after my family and it just makes me sick and I fucking hate this country fucking hate it I fucking hate how they get away with just anything and nothing is done i was kidnapped last year in november and nothing was done last night they kidnapped my brother and nothing is probably gonna be done and they just keep getting away with this shit and it's i don't even know what to say and um he's traumatized and uh, let me even just start this story from the beginning because uh, a few weeks ago, uh, I actually I asked my brother to go and pick up a package for me from the airport. Um, it was at customs and they were holding it because they wanted me to pay some duty and tax. And I sent my brother to pick it up. And he went, he's talking to uh, the customs guys and uh, the package was being handled by DHL. So he gets there, he's told to wait. Uh, they tell him, ah, oh, we can't release your package right now. Let's, uh, there's a fee, there's a payment you have to make. And so uh, my brother had to come, come back a different day. So apparently uh, customs now lodged a payment, like an invoice on the KRA, probably a KRA portal. So when my brother goes back to pick up the package, apparently he finds DCI agents waiting for him. Uh, he he arrives at the airport, at the customs offices. He's taken to a room. He's told, wait there, give us your phone. So he just obeys. They lock him up in a room for three, four hours. He, he's wondering what's going on. But they didn't actually tell him that they're, lo they're locking up in the room. When he, when he went to open the door to check where, where this guy's taken so long, that's when he realized he's actually been locked inside a room. So apparently they come, they are taking away his phone uh, and they were just asking him, where is Edgar? That's all they wanted to know. That's all they cared about. Where is Edgar? And I don't understand how you can, uh, you can actually hold someone else and try to get information about me when they have not done anything wrong. They're innocent. And now they're just going after my family the way they want to. So it ended up being this whole drama about the DCI fighting with the customs. They're trying to uh, get my package. And uh, it was one of the most scary things. At that day, I was so angry. I wanted to talk about it and share and uh, get some results from it. But my brother told me, please don't talk about it. I don't feel safe. And I don't want you to put me in a position where I have to uh, fear for my life. 
So I respected his wishes and I never talked about it and I kept quiet. And here we are a few weeks later, now they've just upgraded to kidnapping him. And honestly, I don't know what to do. I, I, they now are really just doing the most, like, there are no boundaries with them anymore. They, they're just doing whatever they want. And I, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for me, for my family, for, for Kenya, really, that now they're just willing to do anything and they're just willing to harass anyone they want just to get whatever they want. And now they're just coming after my family. I hope the right people see this and I hope these people are found and brought to justice because it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy that this is the country we live in. So I guess if you know me, this is the time to I honestly don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. Because hearing my brother cry on the phone, trying to explain to me what they did to him, and I'm just... He didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it. He's an innocent person, has nothing to do with it. Well, we are just related. He didn't do anything. Why should he suffer like this? So yeah, um, I guess we'll be reporting the matter, hoping police will do something. They didn't do anything with my case, so I don't think it would be any different. But I fucking hate this country. I hate how low we have sunk. I, I, I truly truly hate how low it sunk. Right, so you've heard what Edgar Barre had to say about the kidnap and torture of his brother. And it is really quite sad to say that as young people are championing for change in this country, we are being silenced and harassed. But here on Newsleak, we say justice for Edgar Barre's brother. And I'm also going to read you some of the comments that Kenyans left behind. All right, these are some of the comments that Kenyans left behind. I'm going to try to be very brief. Someone says, Yani, it's so sad. Yani, uki sema tu kweliku who's a big fish, wana go to me the law enforcers to deal with you. As in, I can't understand. Are we living in a country? Ama tunaishi kwa country ya watu flani wenye ni waku kwa government. Uh? So some of the comments that Kenyans left behind, uh, you know, just uh, expressed disappointment because, you know, we were expecting the government to step in and investigate the whole issue and tell us, you know, if it's true, these things are happening in Kenya. And uh, what we are met with is harassment and, you know, silencing mechanisms and kidnappings and all that. Um, someone else here said that uh, Siwezi Piga Kura Mimi. Yo, guys, you need to vote because we as the youth, we hold uh, the majority of votes. So we need to vote these uh, people who are not helping our government out. And we need to, you know, uh, vote in leaders who are accountable and leaders who are not going to allow some of these uh, money laundering schemes uh, to go on in our country. Um, and someone else said, um, the whole thing just looks like a movie. Kenya is just so ghetto. And someone else said, he Kenya, mnyonge hanahaki, which is true uh, because uh, the expose on Edgar Barre, really, we did not expect that kind of reaction. We actually wanted him to be protected because, yo, he's someone who is bringing out so much that happens in the dark uh, that we didn't know as, you know, as Kenyan citizens. Uh, so I don't know what you think about it. Please comment down below and tell us what you think about. And now let's see what Lynn Googie had to say about the whole issue.
On that note, uh, Len Gogi took to her Instagram account and this is what she had to say about the whole issue. Uh, while it would be considered by many safe to remain silent, matters Edgar Barry, I choose not to, especially given his brother's kidnapping. Edgar is not everyone's cup of tea, but whether the issues affecting this country are aired first by him or not, it will not stop Kenyans from finding out the truth eventually. Today it's him, tomorrow any of us with different views will be next. And though we may not always agree with his approach towards personal matters, I believe torturing his brother is not the solution. Edgar, I pray your brother is safe and sound and I hope he comes back home soon. This video will not be deleted or whatever this comment. So uh, you can see, uh, and I totally agree with Len Gogi that it is a wrong approach to abduct uh, Edgar Barry's brother and torture him, given that Edgar Barry was airing what would be for the best interest of the country. So um, I don't know what you think about the story. Uh, please leave a comment down below, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't for these and more stories. And do have a good evening.